my, my mom was a single parent. And um, before she died, while she was on the hospital bed, I was with her. And then she looked me in the eye and she said, because she already knew I had a passion for ministry. And she said, as you preach, please tell every young girl they have no reason to be single mothers. And I believe that hearing the question and I didn't say anything, I just felt like, you know, she said to me again, one of her final words, he said, every child needs a father. And if, if Adam was not necessary, God would have created Eve alone. We understand the challenges with, especially with the 21st century we are in, knowing that there are fathers who are useless, there are fathers who are not worth it, there are men who are serial heartbreakers. But it still doesn't take away the fact that this is the way God has designed our families to thrive. He might be a stupid man, but he remaining in that house is a major lesson for the children. He might not be the man you want him to be, but his voice, each time he raises it in the house, leaves an impression for your children. We know there are ones that are very silly. They don't live up to expectation. But notice very carefully, even among the Jews in which uh, the Bible, the milieu of the Bible was crafted from, the Lord leaves a responsibility to the Jewish fathers that every Friday evening they were supposed to be blessing their children. That is where the milieu of the Bible were crafted from. And then I keep asking a question. You have a home where there is no father. My mom's greatest pain was that her children didn't turn out well because there is something a woman can do and there is what a man can do. It's not just about having sex. It's not just about doing that. But there's, there's something that it was. She tried to do everything. She was the counselor. She was the provider. She was the one that broke down. By the way, she died of, died of heart failure. You know, because she tried to do everything. She was the mother. She was the father. She was the counselor. She was everything. When we were angry, we poured it out on her. When we were frustrated, we poured it out on her. It might look very fashionable to be a single mother right now. But 10 years after now, would you still be proud that I took the right step? 20 years after now, will your, your children may not tell you, but there were times when we were mentally abused. We went out there to play with other children, and they just threw a word at us, you know, go and call your father, you know, and all that. Because I knew it made my mother cry all the time. Whenever I come back and ask her, who is my father? You know, she would just break down and start crying. I never bothered to ask her all that question, but I knew how mentally scarred I was until I started growing up. So uh, please let us put these things in proper perspective. Please, I also want to reiterate again, no matter what men have done to you, please, there is always a man somewhere that will make you smile. And I want you to pray into it, and I want you to believe it. And the last thing I want to share, which is a question that... They, uh, they've already answered. It's about my marriage. When I got married newly, marriage was hell. Very hell. If there's something called the um, uh, heller than hell, that was exactly how my marriage was. One day I was praying and I was telling God, you know what? This is the end. Let her go my, her way. Let me go my way. She's successful. I am successful. Everybody will be fine. God said something to me, and that is what I want to tell you. He said to me, this marriage is not a destination. It is an assignment. And to the extent to which you will solve this assignment will determine your promotion in destiny. When the view of my marriage changed from coming to receive love, coming to uh, make sure she says the right thing, to the place where I have to be given the love, to the place where I have to be the one saying the right thing, to the place where I don't have to respond to her anger, for every anger. I'm not telling you it was a bed of roses, though. It was not. Today, I stand to say, and I, I mean, my wife is one of the sweetest person you would ever met, would ever meet. She was not like this. She was not like this. But God had to bring me to the place where I saw that marriage as an assignment. And the day I saw my assignment, our assignments come differently. Short essays, objective questions, this one and that one. Different, we all have our assignment. But first of all, change the mindset that this is my assignment and your approach to your marital issues will change. Thank you very much. Pastor.